Hello and welcome to this new video about testing the probably the most demanding game there still is out there even in 2019. Kingdom Come Deliverance, this open world game was released previous year in 2018. And uh, while some of you might uh, say that Red Dead Redemption 2 or maybe Assassin's Creed Odyssey is the best looking game, I'm not really agree because I think Kingdom Come Deliverance with all its wonderful open world i mean if you look at the map how large everything is and how super realistically everything has been captured in in uh, from a real a real world i have to say that somewhere in the czech republic this game definitely for me still is the best looking game there is out there and probably also the most demanding game because this game was released at february february 2018 if i'm not mistaken maybe march and this game has a experimental graphics mode and this graphics mode has been intended for future hardware only and by that time I think the best graphic cards were the GTX 1080 Ti which is the one I still have so the RTX 20 2000 series were not out uh, by then and also the 9th generation CPUs were not uh, released back then but it's not that super important since the i7 8700K was is pretty much uh, f uh, a very I'd say it's pretty much the still one of the fastest CPUs out there. The next, the ninth generation CPUs, the Intel Core 9700K and 9900K are not super much faster than the 8700K back then. But nevertheless, um, the last time we did check this, this was with my Ryzen 2700X. But now I've got a new Intel setup the uh, with actually the Intel 9700K and... Even while Intel states that the 9900K is the fastest gaming CPU out there, I don't think so. I think the 9700K is the fastest one because it has pure 8 cores, no hyper threading, and a lot of games don't like hyper threading. And you can check if you want a lot of reviews and benchmarks on it. And you can see that this CPU, the Intel 9700K, is actually faster in a lot of games than the 9900K because the 9900K is pretty much this 9700K but with hyper threading. And yeah, um, if a game can use 8 pure cores, then that's uh, fine enough already. But Kingdom Come Deliverance only uses 6 cores, which is still great, of course. And we're going to see how it runs on this ultra high graphics mode. So what I did do is here in upper left corner, I did uh, enabled a FPS counter and I also gonna increase the settings. So I'm there's a big difference now. I'm running at 1080p and the reason for that is that if I would run at uh, 4040p, the uh, Intel i7 9700K, so this CPU does not, has, uh, does not have that much room to stretch its legs because at 1080p, the CPU can actually do something. And at 1440p, the GPU mostly takes over everything. And for that, it's not really a super fair comparison with the uh, Ryzen 2700X because I did do that test on 4040p. So this test is probably going to run a little bit better. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, to show you guys how demanding still this, um, this uh, experimental mode is. So let's first set everything in ultra high and let's confirm that first. And as you can see, ultra high is uh, for experimental use only. But we're going to see that message again when we go in the advanced settings so let's wait for that until it's finished initializing i've now set it to full screen it also runs a little bit better on full screen so advanced graphics settings this is an uh, i will set smma on 2tx and i will make sure to set all the lot distances also a maximum confirm it and as you can see here ultra is experimental and intended for future hardware but we're going to test to see how the game runs in this ultra high mode in 1080p um, this really ultra high mode is not really, I don't think you see super much detail compare, if you compare it with the very high settings, which runs perfectly fine on 4040p for me, but this ultra high is, yeah, they have created uh, a couple of effects for experimental hardware. Also, I'm running the Apex EMB, which is a uh, EMB, uh, of course, as the name says, which has been released a couple of months or maybe last month only for Kingdom Come Deliverance because the EMB binaries were not available for quite a long time in Kingdom Come Deliverance. But anyway, on the open fields, as you can see here, we have uh, fluid 60 FPS, but that was not something new. We also had that on the Ryzen 2700X <coughs> on 4040p. So... Um, to summarize my system specifications, this is an i7 9700K, an MSE GTX 1080 Ti, and 
six, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz RAM CL16. So you have a little bit of an idea what this setup is. So yeah, <clears throat> uh, also I have the official HD texture pack enabled and as you can see, everything looks really good. The ground textures, tree textures look good. And uh, yeah, again, like I said, the outdoor areas, they have no problem containing 60 FPS, even in this super high experimental mode. And uh, again, 1080p, it's not a super fair comparison with the Ryzen uh, 2700X because I did run that test on 4040p, but uh, the Ryzen on 4040p back then had a lot of problems running into cities. I had frame rates as low as 20 to 30 back then uh, with this ultra high mode. So let's see how the 9700K is holding up uh, against it. And uh, let's see, yeah. So we are in open field now and I do have this cheat mode enabled which allows me to fly around a little bit so we can uh, uh, travel distance a little bit further. So I can see a city over there and then we can immediately maybe check if we can stress this um, stress this Kingdom Come Deliverance game. So let's see. Can we enter it? I think this is an abandoned city, but I'm not really sure. Ah! Oh, I do have God Mode enabled, so I won't fall to my death. So let's see if we can get to a little bit more crowder place, like this Castellan example or this village. And yeah, as you can see in the upper left corner, still 60 frames per second, even while there is, are some buildings here. Sometimes like 65 frames per second, 55. It's not a super drop. It's still uh, almost 60 FPS. So I think mostly the um, NPCs, they draw a lot of um, FPS the last time I remember, at least the cities. And I think it are the NPCs, not really sure. So this village looks, ah, there are some villagers. Hello, dear lady. She's bumping me around. Okay, that's fine. So still around 60 FPS. Indoor should be better. Yeah, it's 60, hey, uh, as you can see. Also, this great, this great Someone lighting there. effect um, from the window. Um, uh, let's get out of here before, else they report me as um, intruders. But let's see if I'm able to show it here. Is this an open door? No windows here. But uh, this, um, th these window effects, they... This is something that PC only has. The consoles are we're not able to render this. I think this is some NVIDIA technique with the particle effects here and all. It looks really fantastic and really, uh, really good. FPS is dropping to, it is now 60, but I saw a 53. And I think that's because of the NPCs and all. So, okay, so this small village has sh shows no problems to us. So that means we probably need to go to a city. And let's see, what's this? Uzits, I'm not really sure if I've been there already. But let's lift off and let's fly through there. Since we have the uh, flight sheet. Else, if we, uh, the problem with fast traveling in this game, it takes quite long because it would actually follow the path which you would take if you would fast travel. So in case you, if you encounter bandits or anything else, um, it will actually show up, so. But let's see, this city is pretty close by, so maybe let's drop up here at this camp. Alright, so that's a safe landing. And just the World of Kingdom Come Deliverance, I said it many times, is so freaking awesome. I mean, it's so realistic, all these um, these distant landscapes, this nature. It's, by me, the, the most beautiful game I've ever seen when it comes to open world. I mean, it's it's been, re it's been uh, captured from a real landscape. They only did adjust some of the heights. In this world and uh, it's uh, somewhere from the Czech Republic if I'm not uh, mistaken and they just captured all the landscape and they um, they lowered the mountains a little bit so you were able to actually get there because in this game of course there are no choppers or uh, vehicles only a horse but um, yeah so that's why I think this game is so so amazing trees look good Nice sunny day. So let's go to the city and let's see how our FPS is doing. Let's uh, speed it up a little bit. So, all right. Let's see if we find any villagers here. Yeah, it all looks a little bit abandoned. I mean, I'm not really sure if the people are still sleeping. Ah, here's a villager. Hello, sir. Can't see his face, unfortunately. And else we have to probably go to Skellis, which is probably one of the most uh, highly populated villages. But as you can see here on these high experimental ultra settings mode, 
no problem in maintaining 60 FPS in the villages. I mean, um, yeah, that's uh, not bad, I have to say, for um, experimental hardware from beginning of 2018. <coughs> wow, what's this? This looks really weird. So this might have to do with an EMB effect, but it looks kind of weird. Is this open? And indoors, they shouldn't be a problem, but I'm not really sure <coughs> if you're indoor that... <coughs> Sorry, I have to clear my throat. That it will actually render the outside area as well. I think uh, Skyrim doesn't do that because Skyrim has only interior cells which are being loaded. But Kingdom Come Deliverance, um, I think, loads everything. I mean, uh, because you can actually just watch the outside world when you're inside of a building. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I think we have to go to Skelets then in that case. Skelets, skelets, or Telmberg. Nah, let's let's go to the largest city, which I think is still Arete. Yeah, I think it's Arete. So let's fly there. So let's lift up and let's go to Arete. And meanwhile, you can see, uh, yeah, of course, this is being rendered because we're going so fast, but. Um, as you can see, the landscape also looks very realistic. And this pop-up is only because it has to be rendered, so of course, pretty uh, fast. But normally, you have you have some pop-ups still, but it's an open-world game, you know, and it's pretty difficult for uh, for such a small studio like War Studio to uh, make it uh, completely bug-free. I mean, if you look at the big guys from Bethesda, they're not even able to do it. So you can't really blame Kingdom Come for, um, for not being able to do it. It's a nice little senior with um, this water place here. Water looks good. Looks actually realistic instead of um, super blue uh, ocean water. All right, let's uh, go to the city. <laughs> Guys are being spawned while we are uh, arriving. All right. So let's enjoy this view one more time while we say hello to the cows. Nice textures from the rocks. Sometimes checking the textures if AG textures really has made a difference for those textures. And I think a lot of textures have been improved, which is great, of course. A lot of trees here. Yeah, the soil looks good as well. It's not um, it's not super fancy, it's not 4K, I think, but definitely high resolution textures. All right, so speed everything up and let's go to the city, which is here. All right. So FPS is tanking already a little bit. At maybe it was because I was fast traveling, but it dropped to 49 or something. But oh god. I know these guys are want to have a dialogue with me, I think. Let's try to get away from them. And wow, look at this, how detailed this uh, looks. This place under the bridge here. Oh god, here they come. <laughs> they probably want to have a conversation, so let's do that now. Um, to avoid them. Yeah, talk to me, boys. Judging by that ugly gob. You must be Henry. What do you want with me? Miller Pesci. Huh? Then Let's see, Henry... So, you aren't the f... Uh, uh, of course. Okay. Now, buzz off. Well, let's go into the city. These uh, annoying random encounters. But anyway, here as you can see how detailed this looks. I mean, let, let's just go there. Uh, I'm immortal anyway, so... Duh! Let's see how detailed all this clutter looks. It's just this is just underneath the bridge, but as you can see, the amount of detail which is in this—it's almost like it's been captured as well from a real-life um, environment. And that's what they do it so well. I mean, especially since they're just a um, actually an independent developer, an indie developer, but it's just AAA graphics—the best graphics I've ever seen uh, so far. But anyway, let's go to the city, enough uh, talk. As you can see, FPS is dropping now to around 45, 50. 51, which is definitely a lot better, um, which I had on my Ryzen. But then, then again, of course, that was on 1440p. And this is on 1080p. 
So, so far so good actually, not, not bad. And um, yeah, with this we may have already conquered the experimental use uh, only uh, hardware. And that is for me just a simple 9700K, um, which is, uh, I think right now the fast, uh, I said simple, but it's actually the fastest gaming CPU there is right now. And even if I would have an RTX 2080 Ti, which is about 20 to 30% faster than my uh, 1080 Ti, then maybe I would really eliminate all bottlenecks and be able to have 60 FPS. But for now, not too bad. Let's see, FPS is now around 40, which is still better than 2030, which I had less time on my uh, Ryzen 2700X. But again, that was a 4040p. Let's see how these guys, hi buddies. It's nice vegetation. So yeah, I think 40 is being uh, hit sometimes. Just look how nice these lighting effects look, right? I really love that on the indoor uh, scenes of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Also the EMB, Apex EMB, of course, maybe also has some performance hit, maybe five frames, I don't know, I'm not really sure. But um, there, ah, look, we have some FPS drops here. I'm at 35. So our minimum uh, now is 33, but in general, here we have 34. Yeah, um, I'm not really sure about the console version, but I think they have a 30 FPS limit. I'm not really sure if you guys know that, please let me know if someone plays it perhaps on the console. Uh, do you have, is Kingdom Come limited at 30 FPS or? If you know that, please let me know. Let's see, what do we have here? I mean, all this clutter looks so cool on, uh, on this game. It's just so well placed, it looks so realistic. But uh, When it comes to frame rates, again, um, yeah, I think the minimum, the real bare minimum is around 35 to 40. Uh, and an average, all other areas are 60 frames per second. And this very highly crowded area have some drops till 35. But I mean, uh, if you're one generation further, I, I'm, I'm probably with the RDX 2080 Ti, we would have 45, 50 FPS also in this place. So, but that that means that the future hardware settings, which this game was released, um, yeah, I mean, only nine months ago, already have been breached, and this game is playable everywhere and uh, really ridiculous settings because. Let's be honest, the very high settings, let, let's just go there. I mean, if we would switch there, you probably wouldn't see any difference uh, with that. So remember this, please remember all the um, graphic settings, uh, the quality. So let's see what happens if we put in a very high, you probably have a huge improvement in frame rate. And, um, and also we barely can see any huge difference in the, um, in the overall graphics quality. So now we have high, very high settings. And yeah, I mean here now as you can see we have constant 60 FPS or maybe a little drop to 55, but very high settings is really good as well. It's really quality settings. And uh, I mean, as you can see, you can play this game wonderfully well with and GTX 10, 1070, I think also on uh, 1080p. But again, my settings were a uh, i7 9700K, which I think is the fastest gaming CPU out there because the 9900K with hyper threading doesn't necessarily perform better. I mean, there are, again, a couple of benchmarks where the 9700K is faster than the 9900K because hyper threading doesn't really work very well for games. And the GTX 1080 Ti and 30, uh, 16 gig of DDR4 RAM. So thank you very much for this Revisiting Kingdom Come Deliverance Ultra Graphics mode. And hope you see you guys at the next video. So take care and bye bye.